everybody, this is Rusty with Possum Bayou. I got a little short video clip just to lay out update. Show you what I've gotten done. Show you a little bit of train running action. Show you some a little bit of things I still need to touch up on. Now on to the video running trains. Got a little Atlas GP40 there. Micro trains box car with a Atlas pulpwood car. Then you got a that's a microtrains wood chip gone to over. And there you go, an Atlas tank car and microtrains box car and a get the exact rail box car and there you got the Bluford Shops caboose. Now let's see how these go. Got a little spot right there. Very similar train. That's an old Atlas slash Cato locomotive there from the 1980s, an RS1, Alco RS1. And then on the end, I got the Fox Valley caboose. I took that Louisville National boxcar off that exact rail. The couplers on those things are junk. For some reason, it didn't want to play well every time. So let me back up and get a picture of this whole thing going. Right, here we go. Hear that little buzz? You know, track power on it. That's what DC locomotives sound like on one of these Digitrack sets. But double zero, it'll run. A little update on the layout. See, I've, you can see I've put some more stuff in here. I've got bus work and feeders running under there. I have this done. It can be held a little tighter with these little hooks, hook latches. Interface right here, some Kato Unitrack. And we go all the way around, and I got it cut here. It was put together with some two party puxy on the bottom. And I got this dude here ready to go. And I'm going to have to redo this in because I, it, it's just something's not. I'm going to have to either drop something right here is out of whack. I'm going to have to get that because I got a ledge right there. I may have to. Take a belt sander to this stuff right there. Get level in use. This unit track there to keep it together. But I've got it where it can sit down on the little ledges here. Those clamps are just fair for the glue to dry. They've been dry a few days there. And the legs are just for it to sit on while it's in storage and not up against there. Now that little piece right there. Will probably be there but said I've got it to where I can run the trains around now I got a few little bugger boos but most of them are in those lift ups well I hope you like the video as you see I got some work done on it I've got trains running I got some tracks still kind of clean little spot here and there I got that one area to redo on that one lift out module, but I'm making progress and it's, it's, it's kind of aggravating. I've kind of gotten just, just discouraged on some of it. I just keep plugging on it a little bit at a time. It's why it kind of is going slow, but I'm getting there. Now that I got some trains running. I can do some scenery, do some fun, more fun stuff instead of building the layout itself. It'll be a lot more enjoyable. I can do some weathering on some stuff and maybe do some little extra kits here and there. It's some part of the hobby, just a little tinkering stuff. It's the major construction part of it. Well, if you like the video and you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Hit the like button. Make sure you hit the bell. Select all. That way you can get some of my crazy videos. 
and we'll have a few more coming out in a few days, so just stay tuned. Thank you.